and what we're really proud of is the approach to life. Could you maybe sp Average. specify a, a, a special Italian flavor which maybe comes through in the music that we... I think it's not that much in the sound of what we do, the Italian approach, mm -hmm. especially now, it's not really, because now after all the touring we've done around the world, we are certainly changed as person. We're still Italian because we live in Italy, we, our food, we love our food, we love our culture. But for sure we have, a, our mind has been opened by all the trip we've done around the world and all the experience we've made. We're not exactly the same people that wrote the first album for sure. But on our, I think what is really present from Italy in ourselves and what we're really proud of is the approach to life. That's why when we do a tour, we always become very good friends with the bands. And we, it's not just friends that on the next tour, I'm going to meet you and say, oh, I, I, yeah, I meet you before. No, we're really friends. Like now we did, for example, Australia, we did the Soundwave Festival. We met some of the band we were doing Hotspest in 2004 together, like Lamb of God or Devil Driver. And it was like, just be back exactly four years ago, four or five years ago at the same point where we, we split. And Randy from Lambo Car came on stage and sing Evans Alive with us, just like we did on Odds Fest. It was exactly the same. We built a relationship which was deeper than just colleagues, you know. And that's probably something that comes from our background of, of Latin people, noisy Latin people. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, uh, just one extra question. Um, yeah, you have a big tour coming up, uh, American tour. What, uh, yeah, how do you prepare for something like that? Is that... Uh... There's not much time to prepare right now because we've been coming from Australia, we're doing this promo trip around Europe and then we have a week home and then we start a tour. So it is not really... You just know that what you're gonna do on tour, but we're not really... We can't do nothing. We don't even gonna rehearse for the tour. We're gonna rehearse on the first day of the tour because we have a day of rehearsal, so we have the chance at least to <laughs> retry the songs because we didn't really have the physical time to, to be prepared. So you just know that you're gonna do the tour. So in the week I'm gonna stay home and just not gonna think about it. I'm just gonna enjoy staying with my family for a week and clear my mind so that when I'm gonna be on tour, I'm gonna be more fresh and ready to, to, to recycle the, the tour schedule. Okay, and is there maybe a sort of maximum capacity because as I read and as you speak, there, the atmosphere within the band is pretty uh, well. For, especially for a band that's going already through uh, certain things like you've been going through. But uh, is there maybe then a sort of maximum capacity that you want to go on tour for, uh, say, let's say, uh, amount of months, a year? Or? No, because we, we nowadays with the situation of the music business, you have to take the chances when they're there. So we know the next two years are going to be touring. Then it can be that we stay home a month, maybe a, a week, maybe three months. but. We can't really tell, and I think on, on the way it's so much uh, complicated to be a band today, you need to take chances when you got them. You can't let it go. So if you want to be a hard-working band that makes sell record and makes some afford around the world, you need to tour, and you need to sacrifice your private life. That's for sure. Is there something that you keep, keep for yourself, maybe hobby or interests that you, beside the music, try to... If all, uh, well, yeah. I mean, I have a lot of hobbies, but they're all normal stuff. Like I follow soccer, or I play video games, I read books, I go to movie theater, I like movies, cinema, I like Japanese animation. I collect uh, Japanese robots, like uh, action figure kind of. I also collect action figures, so I, I have a lot of passions. And I always try to, to, to keep my passion because they're very important and uh, that's one of the reasons why our job, it is also one of our passion because we always try to develop our passion. So that you, while you're going on tour, you're looking out for some, some things like that? Uh. Yeah, sometimes when we go to Japan, we look for the Japanese uh, stuff. And when we're in America, maybe we check some uh, movies, uh, collectible stuff, like our bass player bought a Star Wars uh, light sub, la, lightsaber. And, uh, you know, we, it can happen. Then, then you find some stuff you don't find normally around, so you buy it. <laughs> okay, thank you for your time. Thank you.